There are four questions that we all need to answer if we really want to live life to the fullest, if we, if we really want to live every day with passion and purpose. Those four questions, who are you, what are you here for, what matters most, and what matters least. I've spent some time with people who live life to the fullest. I've spent some time with people who live every day with passion and purpose, and they've answered these questions. And as a result of answering these questions, they have a personal clarity that most people just don't have. They have a clear sense of who they are and what they're here for and what matters most and what matters least. And that just gives birth to this clarity. And out of this clarity, they get really good at something that most people are really bad at. And that's saying no. Most of us are really bad at saying no. We say yes to stuff all the time that we know we shouldn't be saying yes to, but we're scared of missing out on stuff or whatever else. But when we get really clear about who we are, what we're here for, what matters most, what matters least, we get really good at saying no. And that's a beautiful thing. The problem is, a life's so full of noise, right? How do these people develop this personal clarity? They develop it in the silence. They, they get themselves into the classroom of silence because clarity naturally emerges from silence. You know that intuitively. If you're trying to really work something out, chances are you find a quiet place so that you can go deep into that issue and really think about it in the classroom of silence. Clarity emerges from silence. C.S. Lewis was one of the great Christian authors of the 20th century. In 1939, he was asked to write a weekly newspaper column. He chose as the format for his column to write a letter each week. Each letter was from a senior devil to a junior devil, coaching the junior devil how to be a really good devil. In one of the letters, the senior devil criticizes the junior devil for trying to be too creative, trying to come up with all sorts of creative ways to tempt man. Of course, the junior devil, you know, confused about what the plan was. The, uh, the senior devil essentially says to him, the plan is simple. And that is, create so much noise in the world that man can no longer hear the voice of his God. In the end, we will make the whole universe full of noise. And that's what's happening. And in that noise, we lose ourselves. In that noise, we lose Wow, 1939. You think about the evolution of noise just in the last 15 years. Walkmans, Dismans, DV Demons, cell phones, pages, iPods, iPhones, internet. We got so much noise, we can't even hear our own thoughts. And how do you imagine that in the midst of all of that noise, you're going to work out who you are and what you're here for and what matters most and what matters least? The answer is you're not. The problem is most of us are scared of silence. Most of us are afraid of silence. Most of us are pretty uncomfortable in the silence. So the first step is, We've got to learn to be comfortable in the silence. We've got to learn to be comfortable in our own company. Once we learn to be comfortable in the presence of God, that's when we're really ready for life.